This is Mike Does History here at Miamisburg Mound in Miamisburg, Ohio. And this is a shot of the mound from the road. As you can see, it, it stands out pretty clear on top of this big plateau we're on. Let's go check it out. Okay, here we are at Miamisburg Mound. I actually have the puppies with me today, both Lou and Lenny. Say hi, puppies. But as you can see, this is a conical-shaped mound. It is thought to have been built by the Adena culture, the first Native Americans thought to be in Ohio here. Um, they're estimating around 1000 BC. Uh, here's a little, little history thing about it. it. Has some different photos of the mound through the years, an artist rendition. Uh, I'll have those up on the website for you to view. But we're going to go ahead and uh, take the trip to the top here. Uh, originally it was about 70 feet, I believe maybe 68 feet, uh, and there was actually some excavation done and uh, dropped it down to about 65 feet and that's the height today. So wish us luck as we climb the stairs. Me and the puppies are going to tackle it here. All right, we're going to count the steps all the way up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, hundred, nine, hundred and ten, hundred and eleven, hundred and twelve, hundred and thirteen, hundred and fourteen, hundred and fifteen, one hundred and sixteen, and Lenny found a grasshopper. Now the Miamisburg Mound is maintained by the Miamisburg Parks and Recreation Department with the help from the Ohio Historical Society. Down here you can actually see it's a list of different Ohio historical sites that the society maintains along, uh, along with helping Miamisburg Parks and Recreation Department here. It's pretty interesting. The land for the mound and all around it here was actually donated by Charles F. Kettering. Now it looks like the uh, Miamisburg Parks and Recreation in conjunction with the Miamisburg Fire Department do a controlled burn on the mound every spring. So they go through and they take down any of the invasive uh, weeds and grasses and things and, and try to cultivate and make sure that some of the native grasses are growing on it. So you can get a better idea of what the mound was like back when it was first constructed by the Adenas. Now here's a little tidbit of information. Uh, you can see the Miamisburg Mound here. If you look just off to the right, those buildings over there. That is actually the, the Mound Technologies, or the Mound Research Facility. The Manhattan Project took place there, and it's said that the, the tunnels and the underground facility there reach for miles and miles under, under the city. All right, we're heading up the mound for the second time today. Okay, here's the view looking down the stairs. The view of the park. For safety reasons, they have this big fence up on top of the mound to keep you from falling down or, or digging around in the mound where you shouldn't be. Now, when this was excavated back in 1869, they actually found layers of ashes as they were digging down. Now, this was believed to maybe have been for burial, but more so probably for signals. Anything within the distance here would have been able to see a signal fire from the top here. The layers of ashes confirm that there were fires of some sort here. They thought maybe possibly cremation, but it's never really been excavated to that point and, and determined. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my website. Also, follow me daily on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Facebook. And remember, as Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we are not makers of history, we are made by history. This is Mike saying, have a nice day.